Good evening, you're watching State of Business on our television. This is Zeenat Musafir and these are the headlines. <music> Cabinet proposal to purchase crude oil at a fixed price approved. Netherlands to further strengthen relationship with Sri Lanka. News in details. During the weekly cabinet meeting yesterday, the ministers have approved a proposal to purchase 7 million barrels of Melbourne crude oil at a fixed price for a period of eight months starting from the 1st of April 2018. Accordingly, the contract for purchasing Melbourne crude oil at 1.69 US dollars per barrel will be awarded to Swiss Singapore Overseas Enterprises Private Limited. Ministry of Petroleum assured that measures will be taken to ensure an uninterrupted oil supply for the Sapagaskanda oil refinery. Cabinet also approved a proposal to purchase 4.65 million barrels of diesel, 1.27 million barrels of petrol and 2.08 million barrels of jet fuel from registered suppliers for a period of eight months starting from the 15th of March 2018. The Petroleum Ministry further assured that there will be no immediate increase of fuel prices as speculated even though the IMF is pushing for a cost-reflective pricing formula that will eventually raise fuel prices. Speaking exclusively to our television, the Ambassador of Netherlands, Joanne Doonbord, emphasized upon the friendship with Sri Lanka in trade. The Ambassador made these remarks during an event held in Colombo today. I think we have a very old relation already with Sri Lanka. We are very old friends and every year we have our national day and we try to pick out a specific topic that we would like to highlight our cooperation with Sri Lanka. Last year we focused on water management and this year we decided to go for uh, the topic of flowers or floriculture because we see a lot of potential there. Uh, I think the Netherlands has um, a lot to share with Sri Lanka. The Netherlands being the world global exporter of flowers. I think 60% of the world production of flowers goes through the Dutch auctions. And right now I think Sri Lanka has a lot to offer. I mean a lot of people willing, you have a lot of capable people that we can share our knowledge with. Because we have the companies that follow it up. And we try to focus also on vocational training here, so we support Sri Lanka in that. Because if you want to grow, if you want to be this hub in this region, I think there's a lot of potential. Then you also need to train the people. So it's not as much selling products, it's also training the people that we try to focus on. So that we do that with water and we hope also to do that right now in the future with uh, floriculture and horticulture. It's now time for a short break. Welcome back. During a public consultation on the local lubricant industry, Assistant Controller of the Department of Import and Export Control, Kumuduni Vidya Lankara, stressed on the importance of collaboration to improve the quality of the lubricant culture in Sri Lanka. To propagate the quality and consumer safety culture in the country, the Department of Import and Export Control would like to propose compulsory import inspection scheme for the lubricants that can be implemented by the Ministry of Petroleum Resources Development, Sri Lanka Customs and Department of Import and Export Control collaboratively at the border. Responding to a question raised at the event, Director of Investment Appraisal of the Board of Investment, Nelson Kumar Thunga, made the following statements. The question is that whether we, we have permitted any company to, you know, refine, I mean, recycle used lubricant oil for local market or foreign market. Actually, for local market, we have not given any, any, any approval. But sometimes back, I think four projects had been approved for recycling used lube oil for export, 100% export, but none of them were implemented properly and subsequently we had to cancel. Let's take a look at how the stocks performed after this break. Welcome back. Trading at Colombo Stock Exchange ended on a positive note today. The All Share Price Index gained 16.92 points to close at 6,533.63 and the S&P SL20 gained 2.75 points to close at 3,684.35.
The turnover was 845.4 million rupees and 14.3 million shares were traded. Let's take a look at the forex rates. That's all the news we have for you today. Join us tomorrow on our television with State of Business at the same time. Until then, take care and good night.